Hey everyone, this video I want to explain aliases when you are doing an import. So the problem with imports is it has the potential to override a variable you've already created. Ideally, you're doing all of your imports at the top of the code so you can know ahead of time what names you should avoid with your variables, but there's always that chance. So when you do something like import math, if you go ahead and assign math something else, well, that's going to replace this variable here. So if we print math, we get three. And the reverse is true as well. So if I took this and pasted it down here, well now we're replacing that three with a module. So we get module math from this location. So if you need to use a certain variable name, but it's conflicting with a module name, you can use an alias. So the way that looks is import math as, and then you give it some new name such as M. So now when we print math right here in this print statement here, it's going to be the value three. If you want to get the module instead, you would say M. And there you go. You can see now we're working with that module. So we just prevented a name conflict. You can do the same thing if you're importing members from a module and you're not just working with the module directly. So in the example I gave you guys earlier, we were working with random. So we had import random, but then I wanted to grab rand int specifically or some other member. It looks like this from random import rand int. And you can say as whatever you want to call it R. And now what we can do is we can use rand int in our code to sign it some number and we can print rand int and we can print r we have access to both of these so running this the first is that random number which we typed in and then we have the method random.randint so that is your introduction to aliases with modules again an alias is just another name for something so we rename the module whatever we want such as r or whatever so that's all I got in this one. Stay tuned for the next one where we're going to talk about something that's commonly seen with modules, but is not exactly recommended. So I'm going to give you some warnings. Stay tuned for that so you don't shoot yourself in the butt.